Okay, so welcome back to the next video uh, in the sort of preparation for National 4. Uh, today we're going to be looking at algebra, uh, doing a crash course on some things that you should have seen before. So tidying up expressions, multiplying out brackets, solving equations and subbing into equations. So we're just going to go straight in and look at some worked examples and just sort of discuss them as we go through. So the first thing we're going to be looking at is tidying up expressions and what we mean by that is if an expression, now an expression is just something like this, okay, um, an expression something that doesn't have an equal sign at the end, um, tidying up expressions just means simplifying. Can this be written in a more simple way? Um, yes it can because these two terms both have x values next to them okay if they both have the same uh, term attached to them that means that you can uh, add them or subtract them like normal so if you had three lots of x's and then five lots of x's and you added them together you would simply just get 8x um now this one's a little bit different uh, because as hopefully you can see this one is multiplied and not times. Now with multiplication it doesn't actually matter if these terms are not the same you can multiply them anyway. So when you go about multiplying terms deal with the numbers first. Okay so you can just kind of ignore the y's at the moment. So uh, 10 times 5 is 50 Okay, then you multiply the letters together. So y times y is y squared. Okay, because remember this 2, this to the power 2 means the, the letter or the number multiplied by itself 2 times. So y times y is y squared. Okay, so just to show you what it would be like if they didn't have the same term. So if we said this 5x times 6y, multiply the numbers together. So 5 times 6 is 30. And then x times y is just simply you just write it like this. Okay, and um, you just pop them together. If you ever see um, two letters just together, that means that they're multiplied. Okay, it's the same as how we don't have a multiplication symbol uh, beside these or in between these two, but that this means 8 multiplied by x. This means 30 multiplied by x multiplied by y. Okay, and just one last one. So we're back to adding and subtracting. Okay, so with adding and subtracting, the terms need to have the same letter attached to them um, before you can simplify them. So obviously, I'll use um, actually different colours, uh, obviously this term and this term both have y's in front of them, or beside them, sorry, and this term and this term are both x's, okay? So what I want you to do is um, just visualise the ones that we've circled with green. Just uh, look at the y's at the moment. You can even rewrite this out underneath. Okay, 9y take away 5y. Please remember that the um, operation, what I mean by operation is just add, subtract, times, divide or whatever. The operation in front of the term is the one that's um, associated with this, okay? So this um, term is take away 5y, okay? So 9 take away 5y is just 4y. So now we can just kind of ignore these two. And then we have positive 3x uh, plus x. So if you had 3x plus x, you would have 4x, okay? And you cannot simplify this anymore because um, they don't have the same letter, okay? You have a Y and an X, so that's as simple as you can go. Okay, we're now going to look at multiplying out brackets. 
Okay, so we will actually come um, to multiplying out brackets again in the National 4 course. Uh, we, as I said, we do look at it again, but um, this is just kind of a little reminder um, if you've looked at it before. So uh, if we have an expression like this, okay, we have 4 and then we have brackets and then another B expression in here. What this means is it's 4 multiplied by x plus 3 okay and what you have to do is you have to multiply the 4 by each thing in the bracket so you have to multiply the 4 by the x and then you have to multiply the 4 by the 3 okay and drawing these wee lines um, I find does help okay so 4 times x is just 4x and 4 times 3 Remember, it's positive 3, so 4 times 3, okay, is plus 12. Okay, it's plus 12 because um, 4 times plus 3, okay, it's a plus here, so it's a plus there. Okay, let's look at another one. Okay, so we have 6 then brackets 4 take away 2a. Okay, so what that means again is 4 multiplied, sorry, 6 multiplied by 4 and then 6 multiplied by um, 2a. Okay, so 6 times 4 is 24. Okay, then 6 times 2a. Okay, so Remember, you multiply the numbers together first. So 6 times 2 is 12. Then uh, then you just add the A on. Okay. Now, in this one, we had an add in here. So there was an add in the final answer. In this one, we have a takeaway symbol in the middle of the bracket. So we put a takeaway symbol there. Okay, so that is uh, multiplying out brackets. Okay, just remember that the thing outside of the bracket needs to multiply with each thing within the brackets. And just keep an eye on what symbol or operation is in the middle of the brackets there. Okay, next thing is solving equations. We're going to look at a few... Oh, sorry, I think we're going to look at... Oh, yeah, we'll look at solving equations first. Um... We're going to look at a few different versions of solving equations just with a increasing difficulty so if we had something like this and our question was solve x or solve for x what that means is just work out what x is okay work out what x is so i'm sure we could probably do this in our head um something the x just stands for a number something so something plus 3 is equal to 10. What would I have to put in here to make this true? What would I have to... Something plus 3 is equal to 10. So what would I have to put in here? Um, you'd have to put in a 7. Because 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. But let's look at a little bit more mathematical way of approaching it. Um, to solve equations, what you want to be left with is x is equal to something at the moment we have x plus 3 is equal to 10 so we just we need to get rid of this plus 3 somehow okay so how would i get rid of plus 3 well i would take away 3 wouldn't i okay if i had 3 of something and then i took away 3 of something and then i'm left with 0 but if i do something to the left hand side of the formula so this is the left hand side because it's on the left hand side of the equal sign if I do something to the left hand side, I need to do the same to the right hand side. Okay, so that's going to be x is equal to 10 take away 3, which is x is equal to 7. So that's my answer. Okay, which makes sense if you sub it back in, 7 plus 3 is in fact 10. So you've got it right. Okay, uh, slightly more difficult. Okay, so if we had 4x is equal to 100. Remember what this means is 4 multiplied by x is equal to 100. Okay, now, as I said in the previous question, what you want to end up with is x is equal to something. 
So what we're going to have to get rid of is this 4. We're going to have to get rid of this 4 because we want x is equal to something. Now this is 4 multiplied by x. Okay. See if I did 4x, 4 multiplied by x, and then I divided by 4. Okay, so 4 divided by 4 is 1. How many 4s go into 4? 1 does. Okay, I'll put the um, 100 here as well. Okay, so if I divide it by 4, I get 1. Therefore, I'm going to have to go over here. Therefore, I'm just left with 1x, which I can just write as x. Okay, so I've got rid of this, this 4. Okay, but if I divide by 4 on this side, I have to divide by 4 on the other side too. Okay, so I'm left with x on the left hand side. Okay, because 4 divided by 4 is just 1. So I'm just left with 1x, which is just x. But on the left, eh, on the right hand side, I'm left with 100 divided by 4, which is 25. How many 4s go into 25? So x is equal to 25. And again, you can go back and check your answer. Okay, because 4 multiplied by 25 is 100. Okay, so you must be correct. Okay, I'm going to get another wee sheet of paper. Or a big sheet of paper. Just flip it over. It was harder than I thought it was going to be. Okay, uh, so let's just look at another wee example. Um, 5x take away 1 is equal to 14. So again, we are solving for x. So we're trying to work out what x is equal to. Um, again, we're trying to get something that um, looks like x is equal to something. So we need to get rid of this first. Okay, we need to get rid of the add or the takeaway first. So if I had minus one of something, okay, and then I added one, that's going to get me back to zero. So if I add one on this side, I need to add one on that side, okay? So this is going to cancel itself out because minus one plus one is just zero. So I can just ignore that. And then on this side is going to be 14 plus one, which is 15. Okay. Um, so now I'm left with 5x is equal to 15. Again, this is 5 multiplied by x. Okay, so what I'm going to need to do is divide by 5 on this side and then divide by 5 on that side. This is going to get rid of my 5, okay, because 5 divided by 5 is just 1, so I'm just left with x. And then 15 divided by 5 is 3 because 5 goes into 15 three times. Now, um, this way of doing things um, is sometimes called change side, change sign. Okay, and I'm just telling you this in case you find this way of doing things easier. So I'm going to redo this question using sort of this um, way of doing things. So as I said, you might find that way of doing things a little bit easier. So it's up to you to choose which way you find easier. Okay, so I'm still going to need to get rid of this. Change side, change sign. What that means is you see if this is a, a takeaway, it's subtract one. I'm going to have to move that over to the other side because I want rid of it over here. So I would need to move it to the other side. It's take away one. What's the opposite of a takeaway? An add. So if I move it to the other side, it becomes add one. Okay, then I still need to get rid of this five. My five is times on this side because it's five times x. What's the opposite of times? The opposite of times is divide. So if I move the five over here, it becomes divide by five, which is five. Okay. So you still, it's for, which is three, <laughs> not five. Um, yeah, so you get the same answer, obviously, okay? 
Um, so it's just up to you what you find easier. If something is plus on this side and you take it over, it becomes takeaway. If something is times on this side, you take it over, it becomes divide. Okay, if something is divide on this side, you take it over, it becomes times. Okay, so it's just, it becomes the opposite of what it was originally. Okay, last thing we are going to be looking at is subbing into equations. Okay, so um, if x is equal to 2, y is equal to 5, and oh, z, I put a little line through my z so it doesn't look like a 2. Okay, if x is equal to 2, y is equal to 5, and z is equal to 1, what is 2x take away y squared plus z? So what we need to do here is we need to sub in the values of x, y, and z into this equation. So we have 2 multiplied by x, but we know that x is equal to 2. Okay, it tells us that here. So wherever the x appears, we put a 2. Okay, so instead of the x, we're putting a 2. Then it's take away y squared. Well, I know that y is 5. So it's not going to be take away y squared, it's going to be take away 5 squared. Then it's plus z. Okay, instead of plus z, it's going to be plus 1 because I know that z is equal to 1. Okay, so you're now going to have to use a little bit of bod maths. What do you do first? Will you do your um, your powers first? So 5 squared, remember 5 squared is 5 to the power of 2, which means 5 multiplied by itself 2 times. Then you do your multiplying, so 2 times 2 is 4. And then you can just do um, this as normal. Okay, so we are going to go into negative territory here. Okay, if you're not comfortable with working with negative numbers, I suggest um, at the back of your jotter you draw a little number line. So what I mean by a number line is just like you just, oh, didn't mean to do that, so one. Um, you just draw a little sort of number line like this and go into negatives like that. Okay, obviously go a little bit further either way. But um, yeah, I would really suggest you draw a little number line if you're not too comfortable working with negative numbers. Because what this says is 4 take away 25. So we're starting at 4 and then you have to take away 25. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, da, 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 da. And then you can see where you uh, end up. You end up at, um, at negative 21. Okay, then you add 1 to that and you end up with negative 20. Now, I'm not sure if any of the problems that I'm actually going to give you um, include anything like this, um, anything going into negatives at all. But as I said, if you do feel um, like you need a little help with that, a number line is really, really useful. I do have a little sort of help sheet um, to do with negative numbers. Um, unfortunately, that's at school. So I can't give you it. But um, when we get back to school, I will give you a little help sheet um, on negative numbers. Okay, so just to recap, your four um, parts of algebra that we've looked at are tidying up, multiplying out brackets, solving equations, and subbing into equations. Now, um, some of this is quite difficult. We will look at these topics again in National, five, uh, in National 4, but um, you are expected to have a little bit of uh, algebra knowledge um, before you start the course anyway. Okay, so this is just to kind of let me see where you're at. Okay, um, so just try your best. Please, when you are doing the questions I've set you, mark your work as you go along. So tick or cross your working. Okay, um, it just allows you to see if you are going wrong. Um, you're not wasting your time going through an entire question just doing the same thing wrong again. If you're marking it, um, you'll be able to see where you're going wrong and kind of sort that early doors. Right, that's it for algebra for today.